Hi friends, so recently one of our presidential hopefuls here in the US got himself into a bit of hot water for suggesting that psychology majors, the most popular major in US colleges, should go in to their studies just knowing that they probably have a fast food job to look forward to. And that's silly, but it also reminds me of a time from last VidCon. I was attending a panel about education and it was a panel of science educators. It's always science educators, but I forgive you, VidCon. And someone asked a question in the panel about what motivates them to educate about the hard sciences, knowing that softer sciences or God forbid English majors are so much more popular. She actually said that, like, God forbid English majors with just the most aggressive eye roll. And to their credit, the panel started with like, nah, we're not okay with you like thinking you're above the other disciplines, like we don't start there. But comments like these always scorch my toast and it's not just because I happen to have been an English major, it's just because I think they're really wrong. As I see it, people tend to make two really faulty assumptions when they talk about what people study. One is that what you do for a job will be directly related to what you study in school. Now it seems logical that if you study nursing, you'll probably become a nurse. And if you study mechanical engineering, you'll become a mechanical engineer. But I think for most of us, it's really not that simple. When I was double majoring in English and Spanish, people used to ask me if I was going to teach, maybe if I was gonna translate. But in the few short years of my career, I've gotten paid to do a lot of different things. Writing, editing, fundraising, marketing strategy, art direction, for whatever reason, videography and graphic design. And I'm definitely gonna do like at least a dozen more things with my career, right? Most of us do. We do far more than one thing and our career paths evolve in entirely unforeseen ways. I have a marketing job, but I wasn't a marketing major. I have worked with people who started in the sciences and then moved into the arts and vice versa. And I know that it comes from a place of extreme privilege to be able to say something like, study what you love instead of worrying about what kind of job it might get you. But I also think that thinking of college as just an extended job training, that thinking that your, your college major has or has to have any direct relationship with your subsequent career is also foolish. The other assumption I think we get wrong is just the general cultural idea that STEM fields provide inherently more value to the world than other fields. But I'm someone who used to get paid to help people write their engineering project proposals and their nursing dissertations and help figure out how to explain these really complex concepts that they're so deeply entrenched in to us humanities plebs who wanna fund that work. So I know that this binary of disciplines that we think exists isn't real. Science can't get done without clear, concise, written communication. There is no art without an understanding of the natural world. There's no discipline that exists in a vacuum. There's just this beautiful, interwoven spectrum of human knowledge that for some reason, somewhere along the line, we just decided that those things that tend to attract more women and more people of color are, are less important or less valid or softer in some way. And that just seems a little suspect to me. Like, I definitely think we need to get more people in STEM, especially women and people of color, but let's stop pretending that it requires more strength of mind in any way, or that STEM studies are in some fundamental way different than the humanities, because they're not really. So I wanna know what you think. Why is it that STEM tends to have more weight for some reason in the professional world? Were you ever made to feel less valuable for the subjects that you chose to pursue? Is the thing that you do professionally even anywhere close to what you studied in school? And of course, if you like this video, you can consider subscribing if you're so inclined. You can also find me on the social medias in the links below. See you next week, bye.